Oh, hell yeah. Oh, no, 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 the beetle. Yo, what the hell, man? Is a beetle in my auricular's enclosure? This is a super worm beetle. You can see it's pretty big. This is, whoa, calm down, you little tong. Yeah, this is the beetle size compared to my hand. Whoa, that's pretty big. Usually we see mealworm beetles, which are like, I don't know, pretty small, but then super worm beetles, god dang, that's a big super worm beetle. I thought this girl ate her worm like before. Let me see if you can see my auricular. Let me put my phone through this. Uh, oh, there we go. Yep, you can see my avicular down there. This is my avicular amazonica, the Amazon giant pink toe. And thankfully, thank God, this beetle did not eat her because I legit thought that she grabbed the superworm because usually she's in there, in that little hole over there. So I take a superworm and I drop it right in there. And then I heard her go like... <sighs> So I thought she took the superworm, so I wasn't too worried. But then, after a month, I see this thing walking around the enclosure. Man, good thing that I caught this in time because... Let me get it out. Ish. There we go. Yep, that is a superworm beetle for sure. And thank goodness I saw this because if that girl starts to molt, this thing can attack her and eat her while she is molting and kill her, I mean. I don't know if it'll eat her, but definitely it's possible that he can kill her when she's molting. So, yeah. Put it in with the other superworms. There we go. It's not very often that I find superworm beetles in my tarantula enclosure because I usually take out food that they don't eat. But I legit thought that this girl ate because like I mentioned, when I put the superworm in, she went So I really thought that she grabbed the superworm. But let's see her one more time. Put my phone in here. Ooh, man, there she is. Ooh, beautiful girl, man, she's big. She's so much bigger because she molted. She recently just molted, which her molt is in the superworms over here, like over here. Yep, that's her molt. I guess she molted before that superworm emerged into a beetle because this beetle seems to be pretty new. And when I took out this molt, I did not see the beetle. I took out this molt yesterday and that beetle was not there. So thank goodness, man, it was almost a death call for this girl. So yeah, that's the random video. Now, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take this beetle because you Man, this beetle, you were a potential threat for my tarantula and I do not appreciate that. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be feeding you off. Exactly. You were almost going to be eating my tarantula and now you're going to be eaten. Exactly. Oh man, are you biting me? Seriously? Oh my goodness. These guys, yep, they bite, they bite. And I mean, it's not painful, but you can feel the nibble. It's not what I like. I get my tongue and you, my friend. Oh, where are you going, huh? Where do you think you're going? You're not going anywhere. I'm going to be feeding you to my Lesiodora Parahibana. This big girl is going to love you, man. She's going to love you. Stay there on my bed while I open this thing. Yeah. Okay, so come here, beetle. Don't think you're going to be running away anytime soon. Should I film from the side or from the top? I think the top is clearer. Here we go. One, two. Really, beetle? Really? You, you're you're going to like, yo, you're not going to be staying on this very long. Get off. Ooh. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Wait, what? She doesn't want to eat it? Yo, why don't you want to eat it? You don't want to eat the beetle. Fine. You don't want to eat the beetle. Yep. She doesn't want to eat the beetle. Let's get this thing out. And then who else should I try to feed? My rose hair tarantula? You know what? We'll feed the GBB. I just fed the GBB a super worm, but let's see if she will eat a beetle. Do you want to eat a beetle, girl? Oh, yep. GBB, let's go. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, no, 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 the beetle. Wait. Yo, the beetle's like... I think it got stabbed. I, got, I think the beetle got stabbed. Yep, the beetle definitely got stabbed. It's it's pretty much dead. Whoa, that was quick. Man, the, the, the GBB's fangs just penetrated this beetle and it's gone? <laughs> here, here, you want it? You want it? You want it? Come on, girl. Yo. Yep. Okay. Well, I guess that's the end of this beetle. Almost the end. Whoa. Um. Okay. Just a tiny venom drop into this beetle, and he's already like this. What the? Okay. Yup, girl, you. you. <laughs> wow, murderer. You didn't even eat your meal. <sighs> okay, so I guess this beetle is the end. That's the end of this beetle. <laughs> Man, that was quick. I mean, for something that could potentially kill and eat my tarantula, he just, he's gone after one bite. Okay, 
Yup, that, that, that's the end. Okay, now I don't know what to do with this beetle because if a GBB doesn't want to eat a beetle, then you know other tarantulas will not eat this beetle. So I guess I'll just put it in here and let the other superworms eat it. I don't know. Oh, there's already one going for it. Oh, yep, superworms. Man, you guys are cannibalistic to the max. So yeah, I guess that'll be it for this video. Man, these superworms are brutal. That is why you don't want to leave these things in with your tarantula. If your tarantula doesn't eat these, take it out because you don't want to see a dead tarantula and a live superworm or a live beetle in with it. So yeah, that will be it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care, love you guys, and peace. Do you want to eat a superworm then? Hmm, yeah, okay, maybe not. We'll try to feed you another time. See ya, girl. Take care. <laughs>